So we're talking about carry as, you know, theoretically as, listen, I buy a piece of property, uh, the property costs X amount, I'm getting rent and I'm going to extract those, those rent yields. Minus right, so have a mortgage of, payment. Yeah. Minus the cost of like upkeeping the property and the mortgage, right? And you get the differential. So that's kind of re like an, an idea of how to think about carry. The implementation from a futures trading perspective is we're literally, instead of caring about how price has moved in the past, like we do for trend following, what we care about is just is defining and ranking and choosing solely based on that, that carry differential, right? That just measuring spot versus future contract. What's that amount? Is it three bucks? Okay. That we, we tally all those up across many different futures contracts, and then we can have a series of selection mechanisms for wh what we want to go long. What we go well, yeah, here's a good example, right? Imagine for, for illustrative purposes that front month WTI crude is trading at $50 and back month crude is trading at $50 too, right? So currently there's no carry. Now, the price moves over the next month, the price moves from $50 to $60, the front month. Mm -hmm. And the back month is also $60, right? Well, you would say, well, that is, has exhibited positive one month momentum over that period, but the carry hasn't changed. Zero. 